Good morning everyone. My name is Ria Nicole Arioja, grade 7, section Admirable. I'm here today to educate you about mixtures and solutions. But before we start the lesson, let us try to answer these pre-assessment questions to measure our knowledge regarding to this topic. Number 1. Which of the following best describes a solution? A. A mixture with one face B. A heterogeneous mixture C. The particles show Tyndall effect Letter D. The particles are bigger than colloids Number 2. A solution is also known as a homogeneous mixture. Which of the following is an example of a solution? A. Fruit salad B. Juice Letter C. Milk and cereal D. Water Number 3. In a salt water solution, what substance is considered the solvent? A. Salt B. Water C. Both are solvents D. Neither substance is a solvent Number 4. Which of the following best describes a solvent? A. A mixture of different substances B. The substance that is present in small amounts C. The substance that is being dissolved in a solution D. The substance that is the dissolving in a solution Number 5. Which of the following is formed when solute is mixed with solvent? A. Liquid B. Solid C. Solution D. Solvent These are the correct answers. Number 1. Letter A. A mixture with one face. Number 2. B. Juice Number 3. B. Water Number 4. D. The substance that does the dissolving in a solution. 5. C. Solution Now, let's begin the lesson. We will start with mixtures. First, what is a mixture? A mixture is a two or more substances that are mixed together but not chemically bonded together. For example, sand and water. Sand and water is a mixture of water, sand, and other substances. But what is a pure substance? A pure substance consists only of one element or one compound. For example, table sugar or sucrose. Table sugar or sucrose is a pure substance. Now let's go back to mixtures again. Here are the characteristics of a mixture. Mixtures are not chemically bonded. Constituents can be easily separated by physical methods. Ratio of components may vary. Boiling point and melting point are constant. There are two types of mixtures, and it is homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous. It consists of a single face. Components are not visible to the naked eye. Components cannot be separated easily. Heterogeneous. It consists of two or more phases. Components can be seen easily. Components can be separated easily. We are already done learning about mixtures. Now let's move on to solutions. What is a solution? 
A solution is a homogeneous mixture of one or more solutes dissolved in a solvent. Every solution has two parts, and that is a solute and a solvent. A solute, it is the substance that dissolves in a solvent to produce a homogeneous mixture. A solvent, it is a substance that has the ability to dissolve, suspend, or extract other materials without chemical change to the material or solvent. When those two are mixed together, they create a solution. What is solubility? Solubility is the measurement of how easily a solute will dissolve in a solvent. There are two types of solubility, and those are high solubility and low solubility. High solubility, it refers to how easily a solute dissolves in a solvent. Low solubility, it refers to how slowly a solute dissolves in a solvent. Now let's discuss the types of solutions. Dilute solution. Dilute solution is a solution which there is a relatively small amount of solute dissolved in the solution. Concentration solution. Concentration solution is a solution that has a relatively large amount of dissolved solute. Here are the examples of diluted solution and concentrated solution. Did you notice? The amount of pink circles inside the glass, those pink circles are solutes, and the blue liquid inside the glass are solvents. Next slide. Unsaturated solution. Unsaturated solution is a solution in which more solute can be dissolved at a given temperature. Saturation point. Saturation point is when solutes will no longer dissolve in the solvent. This happens when small particles in your setup no longer dissolve no matter how long and hard you stirred. The last two types are saturated and supersaturated solutions. Saturated solution. Saturated solution is a solution that contains as much solute as the solvent can normally hold at a given temperature. Supersaturated solution. Supersaturated solution is a solution that contains more solute than the solvent can normally hold at a given temperature and crystallizations may occur. Here are the examples of saturated and supersaturated solutions. Did you see the difference between the two bottles? The solutes in the saturated solution are the white particles. The supersaturated solution also has white particles, but there's more. It has crystals at the bottom. So that is an introduction to mixtures and solutions. Earlier, I wanted us to answer the pre-assessment questions. We will answer again to see how much you learned on this lesson. Number one, which of the following best describes a solution? Letter A, a mixture with one face. Letter B, a heterogeneous mixture. Letter C, the particles show Tyndall effect. Letter D, are bigger than colloids. Number two, a solution is also known as a homogeneous mixture. Which of the following is an example of a solution? Letter A, fruit salad. Letter B, juice. Letter C, milk and cereal. Letter D, water. Number three, in a salt water solution, 
What substance is considered the solvent? A. Salt B. Water C. Both are solvents Letter D. Neither substance is a solvent 4. Which of the following best describes a solvent? Letter A. A mixture of different substances. Letter B. The substance that is present in small amounts. Letter C. The substance that is being dissolved in a solution. Letter D. The substance that does the dissolving in a solution. Number 5. Which of the following is formed when solute is mixed with solvent? Letter A. Liquid. Letter B. Solid. Letter C. Solution. Letter D. Solvent. Did you notice that these were the same questions a while ago? These are the correct answers. Number 1. A. A mixture with one face. 2. Letter B. Juice. Number 3. B. Water. Number 4. Letter D. The substance that does the dissolving in a solution. Number 5. Letter C. Solution. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson and have a great day.